Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening, depending on where when you're watching this. I am a cosplay monster. The playmat is back out, which means one thing. This should be the last Pokemon Go card video on this channel, which means we have come to the end. And we have those last five cards that you've seen that we needed in the last video. So let's bring back the infamous list. So as you can see, these are the five cards that we need. And after we opened 200 packets, we didn't get those five cards. We're going to start this video by showing you what we have so far for our master collection. So I believe this is the first actual master set I've completed. So what I do is I have a binder. These are from Amazon. Can't get them anymore. They're really hard to get hold of. They're really nice binders. Amazon, bring them back. And then I add the ETB sleeve to the front. In the front, so when you open an ETB or a Pokemon Center ETB, you get special like card sleeves and stuff. So what I've done is I've kept one of those each for the two different designs. I've kept an empty packet of cards because it's nostalgia. And we've also got the ETB guide. And obviously this set's a bit different that you actually get the stickers that peel off the, the dittos. So it's a little bit different. Let me know how you guys lay out all of your master sets i've seen people do a 1 to 150 and then do the reverse hollows 1 to 150 i've seen people put the reverse hollows in front of the normal normal hollows i've seen many different ways of doing it and the way that i have done it is i've number ordered them all and then i put the the normal card oh the camera slip in two seconds sorry we're back so again the way i've done it is i've done number one non-reverse number one reverse hollow and gone through that way and that's how i've laid it out and at the end there's something a bit different which i'll show you so these are just going to have a quick flick through of all our cards i have noted every card that we are missing the number and what it is if it's reverse hollow or or vmax off this list so as you can go as you see we go through now i use a website called price charting i think off the top of my head and when you put it into your set, it shows you how far you have completed. It also shows you all the product lines for that one type of set. Um, and it also shows a few other variants, which I'm not necessarily compl collecting to complete. In my head, I've got the master set. I'm happy. We can move on. Um, as you can see, it goes normal reverse, reverse, and then a random card. These are actually all number order. They don't make much sense, but they're obviously going through the, the, the Pokemon types. Trainers again. And then you get your Vs and your Golds and all that. This is where we're missing the most. Um, and then what I've done is with every product you get, you get a promo card or like a coin or something. So from this point, every promo card, which I count as part of the Master set in my head. Most people don't. I don't know if they do or don't. In this case, we do. Obviously, all the promos go in. All the promos for different ones and then the tins i think they've actually stopped coming with them with the the pictures that link together and then there's the backs of those cards i've kept one energy from each let's say each set from from these cards i've got one energy and then these ones obviously the coins we got in the the master boxes I've kept the little price charts, the little game charts, everything like that. And then these two actually don't have anything to do with Pokemon Go. But they're a cool card that we got in the, the V Battle Decks. And then something else a bit different for this one. We obviously get stickers. So I've kept the stickers. I think I've found the last sticker we need. But that's a bit of a side quest and I'll explain that at the end. And then again, the, one of the promos, two of the same promos... Uh, the card sleeves, um, a random sticker sheet, and I think this is the same as the first player's guide, but one's from the Pokemon Center, one's the normal ETB. So that is what I've done for those. So what I did after I finished recording the last video, I went on to eBay, as I find eBay the best place to buy cards. You have to obviously do a bit of research and look at what you're trying to buy. Keep in mind, these were brought may time of this year so we're quite far behind but we got these quite early 
So I'm going to go through and pick a random one, and then we're just going to go through the card, what it is, and how much it actually costs me. Um, the way I use eBay is I look at the last sold pro like the last top five sold prices, and then work out what the best price is. If I can buy two cards that I need from one seller, even better, because I get combined postage if they're charging postage, or I can do maybe some sort of offer and get it a little bit cheaper. Keeping in mind, we did just spend a thousand pound opening 20 EDPs. So these might sound expensive, but in my eyes. Trying to get five more cards to complete the master set. This was a lot easier to buy the cards than open another. Well, it could be another 500 packs for all I know. Um, so yeah, let's start. Most of these, all these actually come well packaged actually, and I will say that they're all um, hard sleeved and everything like that in the, in the packets. So let's start off. So this is our first one. As you can see, it's in a hard top loader. Is that what they call them? And this person has put a bit of tape across, which is brilliant because the card doesn't come out. It's a nightmare because I need to get it out. So this first card is... Don't bend it, get out. Right, okay. This is... Kron... Oh, I, this is the one I struggle with, and I say it the most times ever. This is Cro Croder. We're going to call Croder. Uh, v card so this is one of the five this one cost me five pound fifty which i think is actually a very good price it is near mint it's straight out of the packet uh, the eba seller said so i am happy with the first purchase made there going on to the second one as you know they all come in these like cardboard sleeves when, but when i send pokemon cards out i put them in a bubble wrap sleeve like this one here an interesting fact this one again is sealed again within itself nice little touch i need to obviously upgrade the way i do my pokemon cards then i've got a lot of top loaders here we will keep it in the um six leave in this one is the Mel metal v max again this was one of the the v maxes which was hard to get towards the end of the the book this one cost me £21, which is kind of expensive, but again, price is irrelevant when you're trying to complete a master set, if that's what you're trying to do. And if my parents are watching, or my wife, I do apologise. Uh, obviously this one is Professor's Research. This is a rainbow card, I think, you would class it as. That's nice. I like it when people put the pull tab on their cards. Obviously, it's going up in price now because these are the more sought after. Just for reference, this is 84 out of 78. Professor's Research. Look at it glimmer. Uh, this one cost me $19.99 so far. It's all free posters and packaging, all from different sellers because I couldn't find anyone selling the cards I needed. And the people that I did find that were selling the two cards I needed, one was fairly priced and one was like extortionate, which made absolutely no sense to me. A, another rainbow card. Again, very well packaged. And it has a pull tab, and I love that. I think that's part of the actual sleeve. That's cool. Very cool. Uh, a, a rainbow trainer, Blanche. This one cost me £16.95. This is all UK pricing. Very cool card. And then the last one. Which I'd like to point out. Last video we opened 200 packs of Pokemon cards. And in this series we must have opened up an overall amount. Probably about 500 packs. 400 maybe. I'm not too sure. You obviously didn't get these cards, which I find reasonable because they are quite rare. They're rainbow cards and stuff like that. This one really confused me on why. I couldn't find many people selling it either. So I don't know if this is an actual hard card to get or people just weren't selling it or... Oh, I'll pull the sleeve out with it. But this is the... Ditto in the spinner rack form. 
obviously we had quite a few of the can't think which pokemon it comes in but we had quite a few of those we pulled we didn't pull one of these or even see it i did go back through the cards actually and double check that we didn't miss it by mistake we are gonna load the cards in so in no particular order we will just go for the book so number six ditto now oh, don't get on very well with these i do like them there we go so we have the non-hollow the reverse hollow and then the reverse hollow ditto should be pretty easy to find them because i've actually tagged them all so the the v card 73 which is this one double check 73 in we go we have number 80 v max which i believe is this one yep so 80 v max in it goes 82 trainer uh this one no nope, trainer professor 82 there we go i would love to pull more of these cards out but it is the way the works 84 trainer isn't a trainer it's just professor as research and now this in my eyes is now complete so onto the twist in the side side quest for this video as you may have watched me say and do in the pokemon tins you could pull out these stickers you get two in each um we didn't have much luck we pulled lots of bulb swords and we pulled a lot of articunos and i think we pulled one of each other one the way i laid these out and I went looking on eBay when I was looking for the, the cards. I was trying to find a list of what stickers actually exist within a master set. Um, because again, it's to do with the, the collection and I would like to complete it. So I went looking on eBay and I found... I think it's APOM. Is it APOM? Yeah, APOM sticker. This one cost me one pound seventy plus two pound eighty seven shipping. So in my eyes, the set for stickers is now complete, but it wouldn't be a twist. And I found this one. Now I can't confirm where it comes from, if it's actually out of the Pokeballs themselves, or if it's part of this set, or something they did before this set ever existed. Mewtwo Pokemon Go sticker, and he says on the, the description, it's rare. Now, I don't know how rare. It did cost me £3.50 for a sticker, yes. Uh, I know, it's a lot. But, does that mean we're missing another another set another two stickers because the way i see it is these are all land these are all legendaries these are all land ones again and then is there two more legendary sort of pokemon like mew and someone else but i can i can't find the answer out it's the one thing i am actually struggling with to find the answer of so i'm gonna stick this one in the back i know i have it in my master set which makes me happy <laughs> And I'm going to class that as done. So, for the last time, let's close this book. I just want to say thank you for watching. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, and peace out. And this is my first ever completed Masters set. <laughs>